Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you all for joining us today for this live stream event. My name is Adbena, and I'm the program manager of the Microsoft Reactor San Francisco. I will be sharing session resources with you in the chat, but before we begin, I would like to quickly review two items with you, our code of conduct and our event guidelines. First, please take a moment to review our code of conduct. Microsoft Reactor seeks to provide a respectful environment for both our audience and presenters. We do encourage engagement in the chat, but please be mindful of your commentary, remain professional and on topic. And secondly, we have our event guidelines in the next slide. This session is going to be recorded and will be available on demand through the Microsoft Reactor YouTube channel in about 24 to 48 hours. And let's bring in our speakers for today. Shashidar, how is it going? Hi, great. Thank you. you. Take it away, please. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So today we'll be learning like how the Microsoft is using uh, ChatGPT services and integrating into its services to make uh, the better services. So basically, we have seen how ChatGPT has been evolving and uh, many, many new things have been come around ChatGPT and everyone has been talking about it. But, and uh, we also know that Ch Microsoft is taking over I mean, he's collaborating with OpenAI and bringing ChatGPT into more exposure and more people can use it. So basically, micro, we know that Microsoft has many services like Office 365, Azure, Visual Studio, GitHub, and Dynamic 365. In this session, we'll be learning how ChatGPT can be integrated into these services to better uh, the services. I mean to bring more productivity to the users to make it better for the users to use these services and also easier coming to the first thing so for those who do not know about chat gpt or something so what is chat gpt first chat gpt is a large language model it's a, one of the like basic not be the basic but it's the first large language model which has gained such a huge demand in the market and people have been using it a lot from the time it has come into existence so what it exactly does is you can interact with the chat gpt like you interact with a human so you can ask the question in a human language and you'll get the answer in the human language you don't need to have certain skills or something whatever you know whatever the query you have you can just put it and the natural language processing takes this text, converts it in such a way that it's uh, understandable by the uh, model and then it returns something. So how is this model built? How are these things done? All these things you can learn if you want to have the reference links here, I have a blog written on ChatGPT on how to use it, what is the architecture and how is it built? what is the exact background thing that is going on under the scope so i would give a like basic intro so it is trained on large text basically all the text that is scraped from the web is taken and it is used to train the la large language model which is tangibt so it learns the connection between all these texts and it learns what are questions what are answers and how to respond to certain questions and all so given any question, like you can ask any question regarding anything and it will answer like a human. Though it has been, I mean, though the answers are not the exact same, every time you ask a question, you will get different answers because of the data that is available on the internet. But the things, I mean, OpenAI and Microsoft are working to make uh, everything better and also more secure for the users because there are the internet data contains a lot of false news and uh, also insecure news. And also there is so much of uh, privacy issues when it comes to this. So Microsoft is working on it to secure it. And you also have the OpenAI service, which is available through Azure, which you can use for more uh, privacy concerned business kind of users where you use the ChatGPT, but you are concerned with the privacy of the 
data and users. In that cases, you can use Azure where it, the, your privacy is kept intact and you get the best of both the worlds. So that is like the basic thing. ChatGPT is like a robot, which can be a humanoid robot. So how is it integrating into Microsoft? And I mean, how Microsoft is integrating into it? Where is it integrating? And what happens with this integration? How we can use this integration? All of these things we are going to discuss today. So coming to the services that are being uh, integrated with this large language model. So there are many. I've listed most of them. I might have missed one or two here, but these are like one of the main things which Microsoft is trying to integrate uh, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 into. First one is Power Apps, where it's a low-code more development of apps where you can develop apps without knowing any coding knowledge or something. So basically, Power Apps uh, was one of the first AI low low code development application thing, and now getting GPT four into it is one of the additions which would make it easier for the users to build apps with easier access. I mean, you don't need to know anything with a natural uh, human language. You can build apps. Like you can tell, like this is a kind of app I want to build, and this is a kind of data I want in it. These are the integrations I needed it. And you can let the model build the app for you. So that's how that is for app. Then we have Microsoft 365, uh, which consists of Outlook, Teams, Excel, Word, PowerPoint. We also have OneNote. These are the things. And then the next comes Bing, Edge. After that, we also have the Visual Studio. Visual Studio means, I mean, Microsoft is, uh, uh, I mean, when you go to the extensions of Visual Studio, you have GitHub Copilot and you can use this GitHub Copilot to you know, better the code development. So in that way, Visual Studio has been used for that. Then we have Viva Sales, then we have Dynamic 365, which also consists of Viva Sales, Customer Services, Customer Insights and Marketing, Business Central, Supply Chain Market Management. And finally, we also have Security where Microsoft is trying to bring uh, this chat GPT, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 in such a way that a model can detect the security issues whenever there is a breach and it can give the solution in minutes rather than it taking for a human to like for so many hours. So, I mean, it can, though it cannot solve most of the severe problems, but some of the basic security issues that's been happening in the world regarding the technology and all these things are trained in such a way that they can detect these issues and they can give a solution because many of the issues have already been detected by someone else and there has been a solution so same issue may be found somewhere else so in that case these models can be used instead of hiring a human for that or human human can solve the other problems which are there which are more severe rather than putting us or uh, spending their time on these issues. In that way, there is a huge development in that uh, aspect as well. So let's go through one by one Power Apps, Copilot and Power App. So this is like an example, if you can see here, add a column and all, we'll discuss this now. So what happens in Power Apps? Power Apps for custom business app development with data platform and connectors. You have basically, you have all the things you need to build a app application, mobile application for a business need. For a, suppose you are a business, uh, you have some business and you want one particular application where you can connect all kinds of people in your business. And you also want different fields to be connected. You want the data to be connected. So for that, you don't need to hire one whole base where you need to build an app database and all. So you can just use power apps where you have all the connectors, you have the data platform, which is there in the backend and you don't need to have so much of coding knowledge. So in that way, power apps can be used to build that basic. I mean, you can build some basic to good enough applications, which are so useful for any business users. 
uh, using Power Apps. And, and what Microsoft is doing with that is connecting to uh, Microsoft Dataverse, SharePoint, Dynamic 365, SQL Servers, and others. So these are like some of the things which are available. And we have this next generation AI Copilot for natural languaging authoring in Power Apps. So it has made it more easier for your uh, user to create apps with more natural language integration into it with Copilot. So you can now literally speak in human language and create an app. You can just say, I want this app. These are the things I want in it. And uh, this is a data for which I want to use. Copilot generates app with data tables and logic in response to natural language description. Copilot control for intelligent insights through conversational chat experience. You also have the chat experience. AI empowered power virtual agents for chatbot experience natively integrated in Power Apps. So all these things are there where you have virtual agent chatbots in your apps. You have Copilot uh, for insights. You want to get some insights of your data, which is at the back in your application. You can get that. It generates app with data table and logic. So based upon your data, it can say like these are the columns I need. These are the columns I remote and make a table for this column. You can do that. So basically this is that if you we can go through a demo which is which shows uh, perfectly like what is exactly Copilot doing in Power Apps. You can see a design an app with a table summarizing site inspections. Great apps are built on later. Let's get you where started. And then if you see here, you have a copilot on the right and you can ask question like add a column called location and populate it with sample data. So it's added thing. You may suggest and columns for the table. Here are some suggestions. Add those columns. So you say add those columns. So the app is ready and it can be used like inspector tracker is one. So you your app is all built with whatever things you needed. So if you see here. You have the location, inspection date, status, which we have added just now, inspector name, contact and all. So on this, it's that easy to build an app with more natural language into uh, use. And Copilot makes it more easy for the users to build an app. So that is like the demo we are for the Power App. Here is like the picture of that, add a column location, which we have seen just now. So this is basically what happens in that and then copilot works here so that is what uh, copilot is doing in power apps next when we go through office 365 we can go with copilot in word so copilot in word what it does it, it gives you suggestions it edits your data and it also gives you a starting co information like basically once you open word you can ask for a basic template of some anything like i would like to work on this and give me a word file which i could work on and then you will get a word file or two pages or three pages a draft uh, to work on so basically most of the time when it we face issues where we cannot start the word file or we cannot start writing the information once we get to one or two pages we can still continue with that so in many cases that happens and this helps a lot in those where you can the copilot creates a trap for us and bringing information from your organization you can also use your microsoft connections like the, from the powerpoint or the note or the teams you can get that information and write a word file on it or write some information on it and then copilot does that for you it can add content summarize text and suggest tone and style for improved writing that is one of the best users like it can summarize the text it will create the content for you whenever you ask it and it also helps you improve your writing style and all based upon so suppose if you want some more formal 
style then it, it can adapt to it and if you want informal type then it can change the text based upon that so basically you can ask this is an example draft a two-page project proposal based on the data from some document and spreadsheet spreadsheets like you may have your account is connected like to uh, microsoft so you can use one spreadsheet which is already there which is on the same account and which is an and a document which is on the same account and you can get those document and spreadsheets using at the date symbol and then uh copilot will do the job for you by creating a project proposal based on that document and coming to the excel copilot in excel helps analyze and explore data in excel it's like it can get you most of the information from the data because reading data is such a hectic work because you have to go through them so many data make some visualizations and get some insights of it so copilot makes it so much easier it analyzes your data it creates some formulas if needed it will give you some suggestions on where to make changes and it will also help you with uh what you call visualizations provide recommendations of different outcomes what happens so it basically reads everything about data and you can ask whatever question that is related to data and copilot will help you with that so in that way it is useful you can have an example here so model how i change to the growth rate for variable would impact my gross margin so if you give this as an example it will create a model where uh the growth rate versus some variable would impact my gross margin so it will create that thing so that's how it works with excel and coming to word i have tried word uh, i can give you a small i mean example of the word So for now I have access to only this thing, but it's still pretty good. So you have the copilot can help you get started. Describe what you want to create and copilot will create it. I, one second. Okay. This is not working. I want to create. Microsoft services. You'll see that. Okay. So you have the draft. You can see what are the services Microsoft is leading technology, my Azure, Dynamic 365, Windows 10, Xbox. You can even make changes for that. I mean, if you want it more better, you can add include information about Microsoft Office Suite, discuss Azure Cloud, mention Windows 10 feature style. So this is still in preview and you'll have a Basically, you'll have here Copilot, and as you are still continuing to edit the document, you can make the changes. For now, this is still a smaller part of it, but it's still such a great tool to use. And I can show you a demo which contains all the Microsoft 365 services. So this is like basically the word. This is what I mentioned, like you can uh, get a document or some PowerPoint from your documents, which is like at the rate KFAI and you can use that as a reference for the model, which can take some data and then create the word.
and this is like the PowerPoint. Oh, yeah, those were all the 365 services which you could, which you could use. I mean, as you could see, like every one of them had a different use. I mean, I, I mean, the way Copilot was integrated into it, it would be of a great value if you are a, one of the users of word or excel or powerpoint sometimes some part of your uh, work does contain these things and it would be so helpful for everyone who is using this so this was like word copilot create content with copilot draft a proposal for yesterday's meeting and this is like the copilot in excel where you can see that uh, this is how copilot will be like on the right side you'll have the copilot uh, where you can ask for different question while you have the excel sheet here and then based upon that these questions will be answered by this analyze this quarter's business result and summarize three key trends if you see the key trends sales are trending up all the customers and this low discount projects made up half of total sales this month in that way copilot will answer your questions so it makes for a business is a lot easier coming to the next thing copilot in outlook and powerpoint we have just seen an example for the powerpoint we have also seen the example for outlook so for the outlook basically you can and get the reply mails uh, for the mail which are you receive and that would be more so so easier copilot and outlook summarize email trends and easily respond with prompts saving time on email trash use copilot to pull content from microsoft 365 and adjust tone length of messages you can do that as well where if you are someone i mean whoever it is you'll obviously have getting the mail and at times you're not sure how to reply to certain mail you do not know the tone or you are little busy and you want to mail it but it, it's like a little hectic because you have to make sure your mail is perfect because mails also some mails have to be formal some mail have to be informal all these things can be taken care of and copilot helps you with drafting these mails and also helping you with the tone changes in the text and all this thing. So it's a lot of time saving if you are going to use this copilot in out, out. Coming to the copilot in PowerPoint. I mean, I guess everyone in every industry uses PowerPoint and making PowerPoint is very time taking. I mean, you can't put a lot of data you can't put a lot of text you have to make sure their points are clear you have to come up with the slides there has to be a story in that the presentation has to be so good and a lot depends on it no matter of what uh, no matter how good the product is sometimes it's about the presentation and if you cannot give a proper presentation at times it's so risky so copilot helps you with that as well like when Copal is integrated into PowerPoint, PowerPoint and transforms written documents into presentation with the ability to adjust layouts, timings using just command. You just need to say, this is what I want. And you can give a word document or you can give some information and excuse, and you can just get the PowerPoint from it. That, I mean, that will build the whole PowerPoint for you. You have seen an example where 
it has built a powerpoint just now in the video that K kfai uh, in that way you get 10 slide 15 slide whatever you mention it you will be created you can also create new presentation from simpler prompts or outlines making it a valuable storyteller partner so the tool can condense lengthy presentations and include stock photos to help create stunning visuals it also creates some good photos which can be added to the presentation to make it more visually appealing and here is an example if you want to create a five slide presentation based on a word document and include 11 stock photos so you can mention your word document whatever that is here and based upon that it will be created so include 11 stock you can also ask it to include something and those things will be included so you can see here is an example on the left we have the powerpoint hi lily how can i help you and how do i write a quarter so project three what are the okr this quarter create a short presentation based on some proposal you which you have already with you then you can mention that and your presentation will be created by the copilot coming to the outlook here is an example sorry so you have to make someone something uh, draft with copilot so if you ask a copilot to create a draft apologizing for some mail or create a reply for this so this mail is created by the mail which is here is created by the copilot apologies for the short notice but our original presentation and all please let us know as soon as possible and your name so you can adjust it regenerate it and insert it this mail is totally written by copilot you don't need nobody has made any changes yet this is like AI generated one. So it's that easy. It makes life so much easier when we use this in our Outlook or PowerPoint. And next coming to Teams and Business Chats. Copilot in Teams streamlines collaboration, runs more effective meetings and summarizes key actions. So if you are using Teams, at times you might miss meetings or you want to summarize whatever has been told in the meetings in that way. In that uh, case, Copilot comes in to rescue and it can create summarizations of the meeting. It can create what has been discussed in the meeting, main agenda of the meeting. And uh, Copilot helps get answers to specific questions or catch up on missed information without disrupting flow. So suppose you have joined late and someone else has been saying something and you're not sure what is happening. So you can just go to Copilot and say what has been discussed till now. And you'll get the information in a summarized manner like this is some things that has been discussing and these were the questions asked these were answered and all so it's like it's basically a human that has been in the meeting it will just let you know without disrupting the meeting that these are the things that were discussed copilot in meetings it's in creating agendas identifying follow-ups scheduling check-ins and suggesting next steps so as you see these are some of the main things which you have to do at times and it might be like time taking or like you might be busy and forget one of the things but so using copilot all these things will be helpful like can be done by this and you don't need to do this some of the you can see one example here you can just say create a table of pros and cons for some topic that has been discussing that has been discussing what else should we consider before making a decision so this is like literally a question which you can ask with the copilot while you're in the teams and you'll get an answer based upon the topic that has been discussed introducing business chats so business chats is also like in teams business chats in micro routing bring together data from all your apps for a seamless experience and keep everyone on the same page with information from multiple sources saving time and effort and now you can use natural language commands to summarize chats, emails, documents, collaborate seamlessly. So for a business need, whoever is there, there might be a team and someone might come, someone might not come to the meeting. So in that case, this is helpful. And if there is a huge, I mean, if there is a lengthy meeting, you can summarize whatever that is. And you can get the important messages in the chat and not everything. And these way, in this way, like, this is helpful in uh, when it's integrated into Office 365. You can see how time saving these things are in every one of these. And most of these things are used by everyone every, I mean, some day in their work, whoever is in the technology, either you create PowerPoint, you create Word files, you work with Excel sheets, you have teams to collaborate, all these cases. 
So here is an example where we have a business tag here. So did anything happen yesterday with the Fabricum? And here's a summary of developments related to Fabricum yesterday. Mona sent an urgent email saying this. There was also an update to this. The final contract was sent for review. So these are things that took place on that day related to that business that has happened in the business chat. And if you have missed it and you're not, uh, I mean, you don't want to go through all the chats or mails that has happened, you can just get it by this command. And coming to the teams, so you are in a team meeting, recap this meeting so far, so you'll get like this, renewable energy, lead time, recycle and bio package, lead time, inventory and demand, Serena and Birth plan to have a follow-up discussion, the lead time of recycle, six days, bio package, four days. So you have all the summary, whatever has happened till now, a small summary of it, and you don't need to ask anyone, disrupt the meeting, and you can just get the information that has taken place till now. So that's such a great tool for many people who, who might miss a meeting or who might have joined late, such a joint lead and all. These are some of the great users. And then after, Microsoft 365, then we want the Bing. We have the new Bing now. And this is how the interface is actually. Not the whole interface, but basically it's how, this is how it looks. So you can see like I need to throw in dinner party. At, for six people who are visiting, can you suggest three course menu with a chocolate dessert? So I'll show you like I have been using Bing and uh, Edge. Let's see what it can do and then uh, if you want, you can also go through the blog, which I mentioned here. So Bingo offers airport features that access research and personal planner, creative planner. Users can ask complex questions and receive detailed replies, get summarized answers, and even uh, generate creative content such as poems, stories. Now you can also create the images. I'll show you an example where you can create an astronaut. I mean, there is an example where an astronaut in between sunflowers is there and AI, I mean, Bing generates that image for you. Follow-up questions in the chat experience can provide even more detailed answers, but are limited in number. Ask detailed questions as if you are talking to a person for better reasons. Example, what beaches are within a three hour flight from London Heathrow? What should we do when we get there? So this is a question you can ask and Bing will answer you for that. Ask directly for tips on how to interact with Bing by saying, what can you do? Can you help me with so and so? And you'll get the answer like, if it can, if it can't, keep in mind that Bing may still show unexpected, inaccurate uh, results. So whenever that happens, you can just use the feedback button just to share your thoughts and Bing will improve on it. And next time it will make sure it gives a better response. So as we all know that it is still in the improvement and it's still in the preview mode. So there will be some false answers at times and all if you're not happy whenever you're not happy, you can just share it and then there'll be an improvement on the things. So this is the example I was talking about. So you can just go to Bing and if you type this, can you create me an image of an astronaut walking through a galaxy of sunflowers? Should I use image creator to draw that for you and it will create this astronaut between the sunflowers for you? So that's how powerful this thing is. It's just not creating the content or getting the content from the web. It also creates the content for you whenever you need it. So you can see here, there are some of the features of the Bing. Image creator, create an image of 3D render of a polar, polar pair. So this is how it looks. And we have a persistent chat, explore chat, Bing chat. We also have Bing chat here. You can also use it to compose some mails or you want anything to compose a word file or something. You can also do that. And it's not in one language, but it's in, available in multiple languages. Whatever language you're comfortable with, you can use that. You can also get the visual graphs of whatever insights that are possible from the data, whatever you select. And then more visual answers. Rather than just getting the textual answers where you get the information, you also get the visual explanations of the answer or visual answers. And you have more actions like searching for this, using this. It, it will literally tell you what it's using to get the output of whatever you ask. And chat history, open preview. 
So Bing and Edge has combined to give you a better experience with the AI that has been combined. Now you have more power when you're using Edge. So you also have the Bing feature on the Edge now. And what these two can do when combined is like suggest link websites, other information, understand the context of your search queries. It suggests words, phrases, and grammar corrections. Whenever you can just select the data, I'll show you in a minute. I mean, I've been using it can be used in chat mode, can be used in compose mode. See that there are different modes now whenever you're going through Bing or Edge. So you can use those. So I'll give you a short demo of small one. This thing. One second. Okay. Let's play this from the beginning. So you can see on the right here how my experience managing a digital advertising portfolio at Contrism makes me a good fit for senior advertising managing role. So that's a question. And you want a confident reply, like you don't know how to reply. So you want something to be written on those. One of the reasons I'm interested in the senior advertising role is because my experience managing a digital advertising portfolio at Contrism. So during my time there, I was responsible for planning so and so and all. So it creates how, if you wanted medium, long, short, whatever you want, it will create it for you. So that is one example. So this is like the interface that is which I've shown you. You have compose, you have chat, you have overview, you have site info. You also have insights. I guess it's not in this, but there is insights as well. When you go with this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, if you go to Edge, so you have your Edge here. Now if you scroll up, you get this. So this is Microsoft Paint for you, and you have different things which you can select. Uh, more creative, more balanced answers, more precise answers. If you want more creative, it will create the answers and it will use more, what do you call creation of content, which is not even there in the existence by using the knowledge, which is there, which is already present. It can create something. And if you want more precise, you can do that. So draw me a picture of So you can use like this, draw me a picture and it's generating the image for you. And this happens in creative mode only, it's not that. If you go to some other mode, like uh, there are two other modes. So you can see uh, OpenAI and Microsoft, you do get some good images. The Microsoft and OpenAI like this thing. This is powered by DALI, by the way. So that is how Bing is used. And you can also ask normal questions. Suppose new topic, more precise. Uh, when did Microsoft acquire? OpenAI. Searching for Microsoft acquire OpenAI date. I was have made several investment open Jan 2023 announced a new millionaire investment is followed by. So you also have the links where you can just go and just check them out if you want. That's how it is. And apart from this, okay, now I want to work here. While doing that, I can use a, uh, so you have chat, compose, and insight. Or suppose, 
go to Wikipedia. I can go here and then I can get insights of this website and I'll get different links, Microsoft Co-op, when was Microsoft founded, some key question, key points, some questions. You also have the traffic, where traffic is from and all this thing. Then you have the compose and do this. And then you also can do this. Hit this. Once you select one thing. So I'm se I've selected this uh, text and you get the text here automatically and you can just send it and you can do explain. You get the output for it. And you also get the links where it has used some of the links. So if you want, this is one. So yeah, that's how it's been used. Yes, we can. Uh, yeah. I'm here. Where did my slide go? Okay, I guess I missed my slide. Thanks. I'm going to ping some current slide. So this we have done this let's see. So that's how I mean new ping and new edge features are already being used. And next coming to Visual Studio. So we have GitHub Copilot X, which is using GPT-4. And it's like basically it's an extension which can be used in the Visual Studio. It's called GitHub Copilot. And I haven't used GitHub Copilot X, but I have used GitHub Copilot and personal and then so how is it used and why is it important? So basically it can help you write code so quickly. Like it will give you suggestions of the code and you can ask certain questions about the code. It will also help in creating the test cases for you. It will help you in fixing, fixing the bugs. It will help you write the code. It will get give the suggestions to write the code. It will uh, auto fill the code. So these are some of the basic things it can do and it can do much more than that. You can literally ask some code and you will get the code for that. So we have Copilot chat is chat in for developers native integrate with MBS code and Visual Studio recognizes uh, what error messages are shown, provides in-depth analysis, explanation of code blocks, generate unit tests. It will generate unit tests as I explained, proposes fix to bugs. It will propose some bug fixes. And it also can do the pull request for you, like documentation based upon what are the changes you have made. It will be like, uh, these are the changes. So this can be the documentation for the pull request. And there's a new feature where there is GitHub voice, which will allow you to, which will allow developers to code verbally. So you can say like create, create a for loop and then uh, run this for loop for 10 times so on and so and so value. So it will do that too. So that's how simpler the coding becomes when you have such a model. So this is an example. How do I vertically center it? There can be your question. And there are different ways to vertically center them depending on your layouts. So they will give you the will also give you the code, it will give you the explanations and all. And it'll help you code very quickly. Very quickly then you code. And you don't need to do any redundant coding and all. It's just your know, copilot can automatically suggest sentences, paragraph, or pull requests, as I said. Well, want developers if they are missing sufficient testing. And for doc is an exceptional tool that uses status interface to provide AI generated responses to questions about documentation. So these are some of the things it can do. And I'll show you an example. Just a second. Okay. So I have uh, your studio here. 
So if I type this, you can see here, I get the whole code here. So if not that, then I'll write type uh, addition of numbers. This is what I want. And then return x plus y define subtraction of two numbers define so it, it, as you can see it learns what you're coding and based upon that it suggesting the next thing and then define name Then you can initialize so see you can just see how quick it is and how easy it is to write code when you're using copilot it will help you like write the code and help you finish with it and it, it's not like it is giving something it learns from your code based upon your code then it makes suggestions for the next line of code so that's how github copilot is useful when we are working with visual studio and github copilot x has more features and more advanced uh integrations into it which are more useful uh i and i am waiting to use that as well like it's so exciting to see such uses where it makes your coding thing easier and you don't need to uh, sit and code all lines of code from one one word even though you know the code you can just let the co uh, copilot do the job for you and coming to the viva sales so viva sales is a, like product of microsoft ti and machine learning capability which allow it to provide sales reps with uh, personalized insights and recommendations where it's mostly used by sales reps and uh, uh, some of the integrations which are there into it is like so basically viva sales provides personalized insights and recommendations we are seeing that and it automation tools help sales automate tasks and stay organized powered by ai and ml viva sales offers in intelligence for personalized insights and recommendations integrates with other 365 applications including outlook teams and dynamic 365 coming to the viva stage so what it copilot is doing in viva sales is ai integrated email replies that is one of the main thing so your sales representatives can now automate the replies based upon the queries and refine generated email reply by providing additional prompts provide valuable context and transparency regarding where the embedded information comes from by allowing your seller to hover over any highlighted areas allow sellers to read the ai generated content with thumbs up or thumbs down Provide meeting insights together with CRM data, GPT Copilot to automate the process of generating meaningful meeting summary. So if you want, so if you are a sales representative, meetings happens every day and out, and you cannot remember everything. So you can use this to automate the process of generating summaries of every meeting and recommend topics discussed and action needed committed to during a meeting in a well-informed email. For suppose you're in a meeting and you're not sure for an idea when someone is asked. You can use Copilot based upon the discussion that is going on to get a suggestions on a better idea or what would be the risk or something. And you'll get a, a reply from Copilot. Allow sellers to make minor edits to the summary email and send it all from within Outlook. So we have seen how good Outlook is and this is also one of the ad which is added to that. Coming to Dynamic 365. So Dynamic 365 is basically a business applications where if you are a business user and uh, I mean, and you want different parts of the things, then people can use Dynamic 365. And what Copilot does in Dynamic 365. So basically Dynamic 365 Copilot automates tedious tasks in CRM, ERP system, reduces time spent on clerical tasks in sales, viva sales, drafts, contextual answers to queries in customer service. 
It also simplifies workflow and data exploration, audience segmentations and content creation. So it does most of the automation processes for you. It will tell you which customer to talk to, who which customer might agree to a certain thing and what would be the problems, what are the problems in the thing. It literally automates everything. We can see and demo here if you want. Uh, this is like Discord dining. Yeah, for department, I just will not be. create out of it. So you can see help them focus on what matters most in 365 for palette. It makes do no more. Move deals forward, take a deeper understanding of your customers, enhance your customer engagement, relieve customers' issues in a fraction of the time, reduce the risk. And customer insights. So you ask a question about your customers. They, you can do that for the copilot, and it will tell you like which customer is what. You can get the content ideas here. So this is like the just an example. Uh, so there are different services when we come to even Dynamics 365. It's not like there is one particular service. There are multiple services in it. So this is an example. You have copilot here, write an email. What kind of email do you want? Suggest a call, request more information, empathize with feedback, provide product service details, resolve customer problem. So if you are a business user and the subject is issue with Azure Kubernetes service cluster. So you can go to the copilot and write an email reply for this or write, a, write an email and you can just do one of these and you will get a draft of it and you can you make changes and then send it coming to the uh, dynamic 365 as i said it's, there are multiple things so in dynamic 365 marketing create target segments and email campaign content using nlp in dynamic 365 marketing the way copilot is being used is like to create target segments and also email the campaign content if you are doing some campaigning then it, the content is created by the copilot by, uh, by asking certain questions. And business central streamlined product listing creation with copilot using product attributes. Uh, Microsoft supply chain center. Proactively flag issues that impact supply chain process, alert partners, mitigate disruptions with AI generated emails. So these are some basic things which copilot would do. It will automate this process. It will proactively flag uh, some of the things which are like issues and which are apply. Uh, which are impacting the supply chain processes if there are something happening it will also alert the partners and it'll give suggestions to mitigate the disruptions so all these things can be done with the copilot and ai generated emails uh, then coming to the last part which is security the way microsoft has integrated uh, copilot into your security such a way that you can use it in your any of the services like you can use it for azure uh, services or some other services and then you will get help uh, related to your security so these are some of the things provides virtual uh, cia ciso services which is the chief information security officer services which you have in Azure and offer cyber security consulting and risk management services, conduct security assessment to identify vulnerability. So there'll be checks now and then to see if there is any security issues that has been happening and provide recommendations for improvement. It will also give you ideas to improve it, helps organizations develop and implement security policies, procedures, best practices. So it will give you suggestions on 
some of the security policies which would be good for your business or your service and it will tell you how to implement them and it also offers training and awareness program to educate employees on cyber security threats and how to prevent them provides incident response and remediation service in the event of security breach so and monitors and analyzes threats and vulnerabilities to provide proactive threat intelligence like within minutes or within seconds copilot is able to analyze if there is any threat and it or vulnerability in their service and it will also give you suggestions on how to mitigate it or how to overcome the threat so that is done by the offers vendor management service to ensure third party vendors meet security requirements and we can see certain demo here so here is an incident analyze incident and this is an incident that has been found so this was a question that has been asked the security copilot now let's see what it does so you can see it has created the alert incident that the device belonging to the Devon Terrace a user of the Contoso domain was targeted by an emerging financial motivated activity group and thus the alert also shows the device last seen time external IP address antivirus and it also gives you an image Devon Terrace workstation here it explore.exe one node.exe and this is how the security has been breached or something so this is one example and you can get one more thing so if you see here the url is given is a link to a one node sales file uploaded the file was downloaded this was downloaded clicked on the link the browser that initiated the browser of this look for presence of compromise Show me who sent and received emails with the exploit link or attach. There were two emails sent with the subject new latest. So you can see like you can know from where that breach has occurred or the vulnerability has been caused and it can read and analyze which has caused the vulnerability. So in this way, you can use a second and there are many more users. It's not like these are like just a couple of examples and there are many more ways that uh, Security Copilot can be used to get the vulnerability that's been happening, create some uh, security wall, which is difficult to break and become more proactive coming to lower threats and vulnerabilities. And you don't need any human to do this work because you can't sit and check everything that's been happening. So Copilot will do it at the back end for you. It stays active all the time and checks for the vulnerabilities or threats that is coming in and analyzes them and then creates a proactive intelligent threat uh, against uh, these vulnerabilities. So last we can see that helps organizations achieve compliance with industry standards and regulations such as HIPAA, PCI and these are some of the regulations that are there. So these are also uh, present in it. They're not compromising in any way. Thank you. If you have any questions and i hope you enjoyed the session and you hope you'll explore this uh, services more and i hope it makes your life easier